Hi and welcome to this video. So let's open the Android Studio that you downloaded in the last video. So before actually creating a project or an app, there are few settings that you may wish to do to have a look and feel like my Android Studio. So after opening the Android Studio, go to Configure, select SDK Manager, and install some of the current APIs like Nougat and Oreo APIs by checking on these checkboxes. Now go to SDK Tools. Here check the Google Play Services checkbox if it is not checked. Now go to Editor, General, and here Code Completion. And here check the Basic Completion checkbox and the Smart Type Completion checkbox. Now go to Appearance and check the Show Method Separator checkbox and Show Vertical Indent Guides checkbox. And at last click on Apply. If you didn't have any SDK platforms, then the Android Studio will start downloading it. Wait for it to complete and then continue the video. So, now to create an Android app, we need to create an Android project. So let's start by creating a new Android project. Now give a name to your application. Let's say Tip Calculator. You can apply spaces in the app name. Now the company domain is used to differentiate your app package when you publish your app on Play Store. But for our learning purposes, you can give any company domain. Note that by changing the company domain, you will change your package name. You can also select the location for your project wherever you like. And then click on next. Here, select the minimum version of Android on which your app will be running. Select API 21. We will make apps which supports Android Lollipop and above. And keep everything else as default and then click on next. Now you will be asked to select a template for your app. Note that these templates are just to save you some lines of code, but they can be easily created by you in the code. So select the empty activity template and then click on next. Here keep everything as default and then click on finish. Now wait until Android Studio generates your program. Now this is a startup window which is showed every time when you open Android Studio. You can see some tips in that window. Now this pane over here is called the project pane. It will show all the files and directories in your project. Now there are many views in each project pane. We will always use Android view since it shows only the most important files to you. Now this is the editor area where you will be coding your code. And at the bottom you can see the log cat which will show the debug messages and errors when you run the app. So now let's explore the project structure. So click on the little triangle over here before the app directory. It shows you three directories. Now click on Java and then click on the first directory. This is also our project package name. You will put all your Java files in this package like this main activity class. Now open the REST folder. REST stands for resource folder. All your app's resources will be stored under this folder. Resources like layout files, images, audios, your app styles and themes, etc. will be stored under this directory. Now open the layout directory. You will store all your layout files in this directory. 
Now click on activity underscore main dot XML file. This will take you to the layout editor. You can switch between the layout design and the layout code from these tabs. On the left side, you can see the palette from which you will be dragging your views. Now here, the left screen you see is called the design view of the layout and the right one, which is the blue screen is called the blueprint. Now click on the hello world text view. You will see the properties or attributes panel on the right side. Here you will set all the properties of the views. Now let's see how to run the app. Now to run the app from the Android Studio, you need to create an emulator. Now note that Windows users needs to install Intel Hexam on their computers. So search on Google how to install Intel Hexam. Now go to Tools, Android and select AVD Manager. Here you will see all your emulators. If you don't have any emulators, then you can create your own emulator by clicking on Create Virtual Device. Here select any phone hardware you like and click on Next. Now select any API label from the recommended tab and then click on Next. You can change some settings over here, but for now click on Finish. Now it's time to run the app. So click on the run button over here. Now select the emulator you just created and click on OK. It will start the emulator and then run your app. Note that it will take some time depending on your computer's hardware to load the emulator. Many programmers refer to first load their emulators to save their time. So now the emulator has run your app and you can see the hello world printed over there. As you saw the locket below showed the operations going on in your emulator. You will be visiting there many times to check errors and your debugging values. So that's all for now. From the next video, we will start building the tip calculator app.